White Cat Crosses the Black Path. His, um, his tail hangs from his mouth. His ears are in his hands. He's putting on his face. The 13 are tied by their tongues. They call him King, the God of Claws. Strays all gather, extend their paws. He takes a knife. Oh, geez. He cuts the whiskers first, then the tail. The eyes he has to scoop out with. I, I, I vote we skip the particulars on this one, eh? I mean, maybe if you see a name or an address or... Doesn't work that way, Andy. Is this them? Paunch, Friday, Dexter. Ah, oh, jeez, Dolly. It's been 20 years, you know, I, and I've always been thinking about them, but I, I never had thoughts like this. I, I thought maybe you could just, or maybe if I should just, or maybe you tell me. Sweetie, it's hard to make out details. You know, I, I see so many cats right now, all crowded, scared, gathering for someone, something. Mine were there too. I mean, they were all there. Whatever this is, it's not our fault. Someone's blinding them. Geez, I, uh, I appreciate you leaving out the gruesome details. <laughs> Look, I, I should really get back to, uh, uh, get back to getting out there, I guess. Don't be telling people I'm squeamish of the sort. It's just that, geez, kittens, you know? With everything going on, folks still care about things. That's got to count for something. Always on Halloween, eh? Thanks for coming. I don't speak cat, but I keep seeing what they see, what they think they see. It feels... cruel, calculated. Something's pulling their tails, obviously, but it's more than that. Someone's making something, stitching pieces together. Look, it's not about me having nightmares or Andy or even about Kingsmith. It's, it's, it's like something's clawing at this really thick curtain. And I don't think it's supposed to come down. I haven't been totally honest with Andy. I mean, I I've left things out about his kittens. Look, everyone knows they didn't go quietly. Well, they're not coming back quietly either. Moose says it's best to talk things out. So here I am, talking. Mom bought the kittens and Dad drowned them. That's the facts of it. I don't like speculating much, that's one step away from guessing. And the sheriff, she taught me never to guess. Mom's version was that Dad loved things too much. Got a bit crazy sometimes, hugged real hard. Didn't always want to let go. The morning he stuffed them in a bag and took them out to sea, he was full of too much feelings. Didn't know what to do with them. He took them down to Journey's End, out behind the bed and breakfast. It's where the journey ended. Jeez. Dad always wore these masks, you know. For the longest time, you figure you know someone. Most of the time, really, we got no idea. The 13 are tied by their tongues. I keep hearing those words. Can you do anything with that? I always kept them outside. They did cat things. Rummaging, scratching, digging up flowers. They never bothered anyone. Certainly didn't bother me. Now, I see them digging things up, but it's not flowers. It's definitely not flowers. He paved the way in this town for my line of work. I used to tell people I was her granddaughter. Whatever sells the magic snow globes, right? Her spirit's always been real chatty. Maybe she knows something we don't.
You should be minded who you get mixed with. Mama taught us well. Not all flavors are welcome. <laughs> Got to pay a price for what's needed. Loses ourselves to mix ourselves. Loses others too. <laughs> You'll be looking mixed as well. Yes, indeed. See it in the belly. Mm. Ah, excuses us. What's your taste? Ah, never mind. Well, well, ring the bell. The taste of honey, honey. That's interesting. <laughs> Thought we was done with human. Got the witch's tongue. The snake woman's teeth. Already had mama's eyes. <laughs> Thought we's had it all. Had moved on to the king cat's claws. Clawed our way here. Here, we be moving on to diviner things. Now, oh, looky here. You're not comprehending the art. Mixing in the head, you know? Not to bother. Being very mindful. Got to be mindful. Otherwise, it gets very strange in the proportion. <laughs> really thought we was done with human. You best to keep still for this one. And you can see the love line right here is trying to convince Andy here he needs to experiment more. With uh, investigating procedures and techniques and all, I can't deny the evidence forever, right? Shooting straight will only get you so far in the, uh, you know, cases. Oh, and thanks. Jeez, I don't know what you did out there. But Dolly ain't been bothering me no more. And, uh, thank you, ma'am. You bet, sweetie. Go get him. Never have the heart to tell him what I really see. But, I mean, I could be wrong, right? <laughs> Poor kid. But hey, the visions are gone. Yay, that's something. I mean... <sighs> I realize this guy is out there now, taking body parts and identities and whatever. You, by the way. Okay, this is why I'm getting cremated. What I'm hoping is, if, if he does something like this again, I'm hoping that his victim is, I don't know, preferably clawless. Might be a clownfish, a butterfly. I think I could handle a butterfly. Or maybe just give me a break from animals altogether for a while, you know? They're with you, right? <laughs>